this video, we are going to show you how to program a custom cycle. To program a custom cycle, you use the arrows to move to the custom cycle. The machine is preset with two cycles and you don't want to change the first two cycles. So you would move past the first two cycles and then get to a custom cycle. Let's say, uh, you know, number four, we can use as the custom cycle. And then you have to wait till it flashes and you'll see it will go through, you know, what the, what the cycle is. This doesn't mean anything because we haven't said anything yet. Uh, if we now want to change the RPM, the time and the name, we press this little gear button in the middle of the middle of the machine. That will open up the cycle to be able to then customize it. And you move through the different customization settings by moving the right and left arrows, which is the start and lock button when you're in the gear mode. So you can see as we cycle through, there's the minutes, the braking, the beeper, and the name. Let's go through again. So we have over here, let's say we press the gear cycle, we now want it to change the RPM time. So we move the right arrow to the RPM time, and we can move it up. That's down, sorry, or we can move it up. So let's say we wanted to do, uh, I don't know, 2400 RPM for, we're just making up a cycle here for uh, five minutes. So we would put on 2400 RPM, it tells you. And then we can move the minutes, we want to move it down, so we use the hour over here to five minutes. And then we move to the next setting. The next setting is braking. Uh, you have different settings over here. It's best to leave braking off uh, on the machine right now, and that's what we recommend. Braking is just how quickly it breaks once the cycle is done. And again, for, for dental applications, it's best to just leave the braking off and the machine will uh, cool down pretty quickly after the cycle is done and you just open it once it beeps. So we'll turn to braking off. Beeper we wanna leave on. The beeper is that when the cycle ends, that it beeps and tells you that the cycle ended. That's important, it's just helpful for knowing when you could uh, come back to the machine. Uh, then the next setting is to actually name it, uh, if you wanted to name it. And you name it by going to the up and down arrow to choose the, to choose the letter. So let's say we wanted to just go to call this uh, PRF, we would go to uh, P, once we chose the P, we then use the right arrow to get to the next letter, which we can then uh, do R, move to the next one, move to F. Now, if you, didn't, if you want to skip a space, you have to move towards the numbers. Once you get to nine, well, you'll see there's a space now. Now there's a space, then you can move to the next one. Once you're done typing in all the different letters and you're happy with uh, the name that you have, you just press the gear setting again, and that will set the cycle for you. And then you'll see that the cycle is, is done. It will tell you exactly all the settings in the cycle. So it has the name PRF, 2400 RPM. Again, this is just a fake setting to show you how to use it. Uh, breaking off. And it, it gives you the RCF also, which is important, uh, especially when you wanted to use some custom cycle and you know what RCF you need. So that explains exactly uh, the custom setting.